Why do horses have low divorce rates? Because they have stable relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Awful, I know. Don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. As a lot of you know, I bought one of each of the new Amazon Fire TVs. And one of them being... There. The 32-inch HD Ready 2 Series, which is a 720p HD, but stay tuned in this video because I were a bit surprised. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, what I will ask is comment down below, do you own any of the new Fire TVs? As a lot of you know, recently I did a review on the 65-inch Omni QLED, and I'll put that in the top corner now. But yeah, just let me know what you think. So what a lot of people ask with new TVs, how big is the stand? The width of the stand is just over 570 or 57 centimetres, and the depth of the stand is 200mm or just over 20 centimetres. Now, when I first set the 32-inch Amazon Fire TV up, I were a bit surprised because the quality looks really good, but the TV is only a 720p TV. So I put it in front of the 65-inch 4K Omni QLED TV and just played the same content so you could see how they look next to each other. Now, obviously, the 65-inch Omni QLED is going to be much better than the 32-inch. We can see the 32-inch Fire TV still not bad and it has got good detail one other thing i did notice as well is the 32 inch fire tv is a 720p hd ready tv but when i went on youtube to test it with a bit of content just to see how it looked it was showing in 1080p resolution so it must be shrinking that content to a smaller screen which makes the quality look a lot better i'm not 100 percent sure but it did look really good and when available as well it also shows in hdr such as here so if you take a look at the two amazon fire tvs one of them being top of the range the other one being the bottom of the pile you can see the 32 inch it really is watchable now with this tv it comes with pretty much a fire stick built in so i don't really need to show you around how it works and what it's like but it's basically turning it into a smart tv so you get all your streaming apps on it and everything like that and yes you can sideload apps to it as well so you can add whichever apps you want now if i take a quick look at the storage you can see i've got just over 10 gigabyte available and it does say 10 gigabyte of 11.44 now i'm not saying it's mind-blowing i'm not saying it's awesome but i'm saying it's better than i expected now a lot of this does go down to personal preference as well you may expect more of a higher standard than what i do but for a spare tv such as in the bedroom i think this is going to be fine now when it comes to the speakers they are what they are it's not the best in the world it's tinny i'll show you a quick clip now <laughs> But yeah, when the volume starts to get high, you just lose the bass altogether. It sounds a little bit tinny. And yeah, not great. But there's not many 32-inch TVs that you'd find that have very good audio. So another thing is as well, if we long hold the home button, what we've got is a few different options. I want to click on picture. And then as we can see, we get a few different options. If I go into picture mode, it's currently in sport, but then we can keep changing it. And we've got film bright, film dark, vivid sport, natural, customized, and energy saving. Now, if we jump over to the inputs, as we can see, there's three HDMI ports, an aerial, and composite. And that's simply how we can change what's connected. Now, if I quickly jump over to the Amazon website, what you can see is you get the optical, you get the Ethernet port, a USB 2.0, which has 5 volt power, your cable or antenna. You've got three HDMI ports. Two of those are 1.4, I think. And they've also got a HDMI ARC port. But on the TV, it does say eARC. But everywhere else I've looked, it does say it's HDMI ARC. 
And then we get the IR emitter and the Mini AV in. I need to try some headphones in that as well to see if that works. Let me know in the comment section down below, does it? Have you tried it? Now, if I quickly jump over here as well, we'll take a quick look at the specs. And the 2 Series has two different versions. The 32-inch, which I've got here, and also the 14-inch. Now, as we can see with the resolution, the 32-inch is 720p. It's got 1.5 gigabyte of RAM, and it's also got 16 gigabyte of internal storage. And then, as you can see here, it's got HDR10 and HLG. And then we can see here with the HDMI ports, it is 2 times 1.4 and one times arc now currently this tv is 249.99 in pound but i got it for 169 pound now what i'm going to say is for 169 pound for basically everything built in the quality of it of it i wouldn't have it as a main tv but as a spare in the bedroom or for one of the kids i think it's it's worth it now this is one of those that I wanted to slate it. I wanted to come in and be able to proper give it some and say it's absolutely dog shit. But the reality is it, it's really not that bad. Now, I wouldn't recommend that you pay full price for it because Amazon always put their devices and products on sale. But if it does drop down to like £160 again or £170, then I'd be tempted. But you've also got to look at what other TVs are in that price range. But it's one of those. I just wanted to make a quick video on it, let you know my thoughts on it. I thought with it being 720p, the picture was going to be awful, but it wasn't well let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below i think you guys in the us have had access to these tvs a lot longer than here in the uk let me know in the comment section down below do you own one because i also want to know if the fire tv that's built in is actually going to slow down i've got a jvc tv and after a year or two it's just getting very sluggish now and it, it doesn't work very well so i'm wondering if this is going to be the same after a bit of time it's going to be really slow to navigate and watch things and that sort of stuff the only thing i will say is don't expect wow but if you're just looking for a tv to watch the odd bit of content in bedroom or in the kitchen i think it's sound right i'm gonna go now that's the fire tv 32 inch hd ready tv bit of a mouthful that isn't it i hope you enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you soon Ta -da!